Hello and welcome to Yogg's Cast. Hello, you are listening to the Yogg Pod. That's a bit like Terry Wogan. How can you turn into Terry Wogan? You're listening, me is to the Yogg Pod. See, when I try and do Terry Wogan, it doesn't sound anything like him. But when I try and do a Welsh accent, it ends up sounding like Terry Wogan. You're listening to the York Pod. Wow, well, this is from um, Ripley's Believe It or Not, big compendium book of facts. Is it like 1984 edition? Like you got it for your third birthday or something? No, it's a, it's a... Jesus, can you hear that? Hear me opening the fucking book. Um, it's it's a fairly new book, but obviously... I mean, it's got a story from 1985 in there. Did so your mother buy it it's... for you for Christmas one year? No, I had to buy it myself. Why did Christmas. you buy it yourself? Oh, you bought it yourself for Christmas. <laughs> Are you asking me why I went out and bought a book for myself? Is that no. a weird thing to do? Just you went out book and of bought a fucking book fact. for yourself. Why what didn't you book? buy the Guinness Book of Records? Surely that's a superior reference no, book. Oh shit, though. It's boring. It's full of people who just, you know, are in the record books for eating a lot of pies. Yeah, well done. Well done there. You ate a lot of pies. Grats. Well done. Or like, F-T-W-M-8. drew their fingernails out for like... Ten years. There's probably something here about that. There's something about a guy who grow, grows horns. Well, we'll get to it eventually. So don't worry about finding it. <laughs> Is that it? We're just going to read from this book. Just over and over again through the thousands of little articles. Oh, I've got such a good anecdote about library finds. <laughs> I mean, everybody's got a story, <laughs> haven't they, about library finds? <laughs> I don't know, I don't think I have. Oh, come on, how can he not have a tale? A long, wonderful, winding, I'm banned feral from telling cat of a tale. Anecdotes, anyway, on the Yog Pod. After that awful snow anecdote that I told that just went on forever and eventually got cut, which is the reason why we're not it... doing a snowcast part two. <laughs> The thing is, it had no real point to it. It had, it was a very odd story, very odd. It had no hook. It, I mean, there was nothing interesting about it at all. There was, there was no like conflict or drama or irony, no moral humour. I've learnt nothing from it. It was a complete waste of time, totally. I, d- I came away from that story, just older but no wiser. <laughs> just older. Do you know I've got a massive grey patch in my beard? It's very odd. Because I'm only 30. Is it yoghurt? this big fucking patch. <laughs> Is it yoghurt? What did you say? Yeah. Is it yoghurt? It's not yoghurt. Why would I keep yoghurt in my beard? That's weird. That's a very not odd Not keep thing. it, just like splash it on your face when you were, you know, eating. Splash? Can you even splash yoghurt? I mean, it's quite a viscous liquid, isn't it? <laughs> well, I'm sure if you, like, were swimming in yoghurt, you could splash someone with the, the yoghurt. Where are you... Where would you go swimming in yoghurt? Actually, where are you, you going? Were you swimming... You... Like, no, just theoretically imagine that there was a swimming pool full of yoghurt, right? Could you splash someone <laughs> with the yoghurt? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? A, a swimming... It's this is a really pool good question. Full of yogurt. It's like a scientific question. So, I mean, this, Can you this splash is going to be. Is this like some Zen philosophical thing? No, is there some point serious this scientific question. Can you splash yogurt onto your Can beard? You... I mean, there is kind of really liquidy, watery yogurt, which you get in like bottles, isn't there? I... What was that called? Yop. Was it Yop? Yop. 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 <laughs> oh, God! Yop! That was odd, wasn't it? It was just... It was liquidy, weird, watery yoghurt. You just drink. Drink yoghurt. You just chug it down. I think things like that are designed for your children's lunchbox. Yop, yeah, mama. Yop, yop, yeah, mama. 
Your for Wendy morning gone. Goodness me. That was the that, advert. That was certainly out of tune enough to warrant being what? on the Yog pod. I tried to actually sing that in tune. You oh. sounded like... um, Who's that black guy who died recently? Hello? No, not Lionel Richie. Barry White. You sounded like Barry White. Barry White died recently? Yeah. Let's check this. Hmm. Six years ago. He died <laughs> six years ago. Six years ago. Oh, dear. How is that recent? How is that recent? Six years why ago. Do you, why do you pick up on stuff? That's relatively recent. Wikipedia, man. Wikipedia. Like, I can call you on any bullshit fact that you throw at me. Died recently. See, that that immediately got my alarm bells ringing there. <laughs> what do you? Oh God! So you're saying, you're saying I sound like an out of tune, dead, large black man? Yes, yes. When you did the Yop advert, so. God, how how can we talk? I didn't about say I didn't again? like it. I didn't say I didn't enjoy it. I jo- I enjoyed it, man. It was great. Do you want me to serenade you? Go on then. Hello. Hi. Is it me you're looking for? I can see it in your eyes. No, no, I can't actually remember the lyrics. I just thought I'd point that out. In case you didn't catch on to the fact. I thought that was... I thought they were the lyrics. Those just random sort of dum de dum noises. No, I mean, Lionel Richie from... You know, he was from the days where they had proper lyrics to songs and they did, just didn't, you know, sing na 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 na. Oh, yeah. Not like nowadays. Like, yeah, like Tina Barrett's Fucking song, music for these days. And the, the theme music from... Um, Katamari Damasi What? God You know the The game That you play That you You like roll up things And there's like A king what? of the stars Have you Hang not heard on. of this game? Hang Katamari on. You're talking about that That weird Green Monstery shape With like a massive Cylinder Cheeks thing It's like a telly Yeah topic. The king, yeah. But, like, it's green. I and mean, they're all weird creatures. And there's some sort of Japanese game that's just become a massive 4chan meme. Oh, God, is it? So the music's quite good. You know, it's like... Na, 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 is that isn't that Airwolf? Airwolf. Airwolf. That's Black Beauty. That's Black Beauty. I mean, Airwolf was black and it was beautiful, but it wasn't a horse. <laughs> well identified that that was Black Beauty. I don't know why that was in my head. Okay, Airwolf is na 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 na. Stop it! Oh, for fuck's sake, you can't. Hello. Oh, sorry, I'm just just crapping myself a bit there. It goes do 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 do. Now you have to say na 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 Mmm! Yogpod, you are listening to me! <laughs> okay, think of a, a famous song. A really famous song that everybody knows. 
Love in this club by Usher featuring Young Jeezy. <laughs> what? Wow. Okay. That's that was. I was thinking like maybe something by the Beatles, but I mean that's good. That's good as well. Okay, now do it only using the word nah. Sing, sing the song with nas. Na 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 na. The problem is, is rapping with the word nah is a bit more awkward. What? Because nah doesn't rhyme with nah. <laughs> no, I'm not saying it would be awkward in terms of the actual like semantics of the lyrics. I mean, if you had to write it down, it would be very simple. I mean, you just yeah. I mean, you just copy and paste the word nah two hundred times. Na 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 na. What is love, <laughs> baby? Don't hurt me. <laughs> Yes, yes, Hadaway. That was brilliant. Oh, wow. Is it my turn? I feel much better about myself now. Yes, your <coughs> turn. Na 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 na, 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 na 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 na. It's it's Joe Dolce with Shut Up Your Face. <laughs> yeah, it is. Well done. Wow, that was Alice Cooper. Welcome to the jungle. Alice Cooper? It's not Alice Cooper! It's Guns N' Roses! Oh shit. Oh my god! What did you think of that rendition though? I, the thing is, I got it straight away, but I had to let you carry on doing it, because it was so good. Uh, See, I'm, this I'm is much the better. For a second. Let's check in with the Madia. The Madia, she hello? She been talking. Yes, hello. Uh, How's it going? How's the show going? Fine. Okay. Wow. Fine. Brilliant. Thumbs up from Lamadia. How many Yog stars would you give it out of 15? 13. 30? Wow. 13. Good Christ. <laughs> Maybe Lamadia this... could do one. Yeah. Can you do one, Lamadia? Should we have... L- yeah, no. we want to hear you go, nah. I feel like we need, like, a Come female on. one. Nah. Oh. Oh. What song was that? Don't know. No, I have to think of some things that come back. You do realise we don't have similar music tastes at all. Really? What do you like listening to? Mostly girly music. Britney Spears. Under the sea. Hannah Montana. Not Hannah Montana. Why were you singing the lobster songs oh, from from the, the Little, little Mermaid? Mermaid? That's girly music. What's that got? What's that got? What? Oh right, I see. Boys to men. So, so Lamandia. Fuck off, like boys to men. Music. Boys to men. <laughs> I can't na, believe that was one of the hat Tina Barrett's influences. Na 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 na. Na na na. Are we gonna get in trouble for doing this? We can't tell what it is half the time. So I didn't know what that one was. What the hell was that one? It's Black Hole Sun. By Soundgarden. I I I don't know. Oh my god. You've never heard of Soundgarden. Soundgarden are, but I've not really listened to their music very much. And you didn't sing it perfectly well. Oh god. It's quite a hard song to sing, actually. But then it's Chris Cornell singing, which, you know, can be quite difficult to ape. Have you heard heard Chris Cornell's new song? Is it about puppies? I was thinking of using it um, in one of the Oscars. It's called Scream. Well, then we'd probably 
Google Scream 2009. It'd probably just be removed, wouldn't it? Oh god, this song is terrible! What is this? Oh my god, what is it? What the fuck is this? The album is produced with oh Timberland. God. What's Timberland doing with Chris Cornell? Fuck off! <laughs> <laughs> oh god, what is this? <laughs> what is this? I love that you say that. What is Timberland doing with Chris Cornell? I want to cry! I imagine you turning to Timberland and saying, Fuck off! I wish I could! This is terrible! Oh God, no! Why has he... Why has he done this? Why has he done this? Chris, why? It's a good song, Honey Jew. Oh, Jesus! Do you know what would make it a good song? A fuckload of guitars would make it a good song. Not some shitty music that sounds like someone got a fucking Casio keyboard and pressed the demo button. <laughs> this is terrible. This is this is worse than cancer. Oh god, the fucking comments on YouTube as well. Jesus. Jesus. Yeah, people aren't happy. It's not just me. Fuck you, Chris, you motherfucker. See, that is quite the comment. <laughs> you ready yet, Lamadia? No. I can't believe this. I cannot believe it. He's gone from fucking Temple of the Dog to this. Where did it all go wrong? Where did it all go wrong? I'm watching a Russian guy fall off a tractor. <laughs> Alright. Alright, well, you know, I, I need you to be doing something important. What the fuck? <laughs> His bum comes out. It's terrible. Na, 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 na. <laughs> na, 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 na. Na, 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 na. Na 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 na. Na na. Na 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 na. So what was that? Oh God, I feel awkward now. Sorry, I'm watching uh this this Russian guy. What the fuck are you doing? What the fuck are you doing? Yeah, I'm watching the guy from the Canary Islands um, light up a cigarette and fly in a hot air balloon. Yeah, I'm watching a, a video of this cat playing Hamlet. I'm watching a video of this guy who's got um, he's he's got three buttocks and he's lighting fireworks. He's got three buttocks. Yeah, two anuses or ani. I believe the plural. Let me link you this fucking Russian tractor video. I don't think you're being very professional about this, Sephos. Is he drunk? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, this is this is pretty funny. Oh my god. The impact of him hitting the fucking ground. It's he hits the ground so hard his trousers fall down and his bum comes out. He must be he must be shit faced. Thing is, listeners to the Yog Pod it's are now gonna man. wanna watch this video. So either we cut out all of this chat about the video or we somehow include a link to it somewhere. Just read out the URL. Okay, it's it's H double T P colon forward slash forward slash W W W dot Y O Y O U T U P E What are you doing? C O M forward slash W A T C H question mark V V equals Stop, stop. stop it. How about I add it to my 
favourites, and then people can click on it through my profile. Yeah, uh, that might work better, actually. Or you could just have, like, a tiny URL link or something. Okay. HTTP colon forward slash forward slash tiny URL dot com Russian arse. One word. Russian (laughs) arse. (laughs) Have you... Have you just made that? Yes. That is a magnificent video, though. He's just so shit-faced, and he's, for some reason, trying to drive a tractor. You're listening to the Yonk Pog. Hello! That was a a Chinese Lionel Richie. Hello! (laughs) Is that me you're looking for? You know when I said we were going to turn over a new leaf and do this, like, really well? <laughs> How's that working out? Oh, my God. Oh, God. The thing is, I mean, this is not going to be as bad as the last one, though. And that's kind of... I've kind of been a bit, um... a bit less inhibited about it. Because, uh, you know, I realised that we've already reached our nadir. So nothing could possibly, oh, you know, be worse than that. Nadia. Where's that? It's the lowest point. Oh, in the world? Well, no, like, a zenith, right, is the highest point, and Nadia is the lowest point. Really? Yes. It's quite odd that I, you know, I did a degree in astrophysics. I didn't finish. Just, you know, put that in there. But I did a degree in astrophysics without knowing anything at all about astronomy. Do you reckon that's why you didn't finish it? Well, no. I mean, it's most of it's got absolutely nothing to do with astronomy anyway. I mean, it's all pretty much the... It's very boring, really. There's a lot of nuclear physics flux and light. Lots of stuff to do with light. Because that's all we have to go on. Light. That's How it. do I get Tina Barrett's music to play on her MySpace? Um, you might have it blocked with something, I don't know. It just automatically started playing for me. It plays on other people's plays on other people's pages, but not hers. There's this f- there's about 20 fucking pop-ups. Oh, I've got a different I've got a different MySpace page for Tina Barrett. What? I've got there's two. She's got two MySpaces. Oh my god. But they've each got a similar amount of views. Not the same, though. What the hell? And the w- one of them, the one you were looking at, um, hasn't had a comment on it since the 2nd of November. Whereas the other one, the one I was looking at, has like 10 comments in the last week. <gasps> Is there any one from, uh, you know, any of our... No. F- oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, wow. Well. Shit. But that's because they wouldn't know. I'm sure we mentioned it so, in the um, the Babby Murloc video. Yeah, we only mentioned it off offhand. Oh wow, this has got some even better things. Full name Tina Ann Ann Barrett. We now know her middle name. Nicknames Tina Bell, Teeny, and Teen. Oh, this is terrible. Shoe size four. Wow. Height five foot six inches. Favourite S Club storyline. I'm quite game for anything. <laughs> S Club storyline. Sounds like a porno site, doesn't it? <laughs> I'm quite my, game for anything. My favourite S Club storyline. I mean, everybody has a favourite S Club storyline. <laughs> oh, absolutely everyone. So, Lewis, what's your favourite S Club? My favourite S Club storyline was the time the um, time the washing machine broke down and the plumber had to come. <laughs> Did you ever actually watch that program for like a small second? Of course not. No. What do you think I am? Think I could? Ever? They were very awesome storylines. I will have you know. <sighs> so I mean, what is it? They they have to go and perform at a gig. But the, the club they get teleported at back in, in time to a grease like period, and they have to car race. <laughs> and then there's a customary song at the end. Car race in ancient Greece. How does that work? 
No, in 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 the film Greece. Right. Um hang on a minute. Don't Wikipedia it. Don't Wikipedia it. I need to check something. I'm quite game for anything. We're supposed to use... So I quite like doing things that are different or wacky. Stuff like dressing up as an alien or kissing a stranger. Or anal. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, do you remember those pictures you found of her? In the nip. You know, the fake ones. Oh, oh god. god, fake nude Tina Barrett pic. When was that? You found that them last though. Time. You that found wasn't them. That was last time we were talking about her. No, that was ages ago. <laughs> you know, because we, we often talk <laughs> about Tina <laughs> Oh, God, there is something wrong with us. It's kind of funny though, you know, talking a lot about someone who isn't famous at all and ha- hasn't actually been even remotely famous for quite a few years. You're listening to the Yog Pod. But there was a particularly long one, which I think was for comic relief, in which they all went back in time to the 60s or something and had to have a car race in order to pay to fix their time machine or something. They had to pay to get their time machine fixed. Yes, they had to win the money in the car race. They went into so, a fucking garage, and this this engineer like had his sort of flat cap on, and he went, "Yeah, yeah, it's gonna it's gonna cost a lot after all the parts in." Where's where's he ordering parts in for a time machine? Well, that's what they do, isn't it? They go, "Oh yeah, I don't have any in. I'm gonna have to order them special." So, I mean, what parts? What like a flux capacitor? I knew you were gonna say that. I knew you were gonna say flux capacitor. As if that was the only part of a time well, machine. Well, it's the most you don't know anything part. about time machines, do you? No, you. There's not. It's, the it's reverse sprocket joint is the most important part. No, that's that's just the thing that fuses the flux capacitor to the uh, the warbling flange. What about the what about the tachyon analyzer? Now tachyon you're taking field. A piss now, because that's not that's not a real part of a time machine. That's just something from Star Trek. No, the you've just given up on T eighty eight sound technical um, about anything. Laser printer, <laughs> laser printer, an important <laughs> important part of any time machine. The the laser printer. Laser printers were invented by women. Why why didn't the laser printer print out in pink then? If it's invo- invented by it a woman, can the color laser printer can pick out print out in pink? <laughs> A colour laser printer? What? Yes. What the hell? What are you talking about? Do people also colour fly around on hover cars in your bizarre, your bizarro world where there's colour printers? Colour printers? Jesus. Okay, guys. This is this is this is a partial list of many ingenious inventions by women. Alphabet blocks, chocolate chip cookies, circular saw. Dishwasher, whoa, disposable whoa, whoa, diaper, whoa, whoa, whoa. electric hot water whoa. heater. Did, did women? This is extremely sexist. They invented the tampon. Did women also invent not learning to shut the fuck up? <laughs> <laughs> I must say, all these inventions are either like they're quite domestic, really, or safety involved. Was the um was the washing machine, and like the dishwasher invented by a woman? The microwave dishwasher oven. Dishwasher was. Fire escape has ironing board. Oh my god. Ironing board. The ironing board. Mmm! Yuck, you are listening to. <laughs> you have just been sent a personal message by Tadpole on the Yog and Twitter forums. The message they sent you was Hello. I have been watching Yogg's cast for months now and want to be your friend. <laughs> this is how... This is, this is, this is, this is oh just God. the introduction. Okay, that's not funny. Unfortunately, there is not a train that goes directly to my vagina. What? It's, it's a woman. It's a lady. Apparently. If I sent this twice, 
This is the weirdest sentence. If I sent this twice, I apologise. I had to pee and lost track of what I was doing. <laughs> Smiley face. <laughs> LOL. Oh, wow. <laughs> that is so weird. I've watched your videos on YouTube and I want to be your friend. That's pretty odd. Just the final sentence. I mean, there's only three sentences here. <laughs> I don't know why she felt the need to, like... She had to use the third sentence. The thing is, it's a really short message, and she had to pee in the middle of it. I know. How long did you spend like preparing this message? How do how do like you know famous people deal with just random weirdos contacting? I love them. people contacting me. We should like make it, it part of the show. Have one of these every week. Contact me. Post on Tina Barrett's MySpace. That is odd, though, isn't it? I want to be your friend. I had to go pee. Maybe she got so excited typing up a message to you in the anticipation of you re replying that she had to go urinate. And while she was urinating she forgot whether she'd pressed send or not. You need to reply to her on, you know, in kind in the in the the forum message. Hello. What shall I say? I don't know what to say. Oh. God, it's insane. <laughs> you should whatever you type, right, in a reply <laughs> at the end, say, "Sorry, I, I'm not sure if I sent this to you or not. I had to go take a shit halfway through." <laughs> <laughs> oh God! Tune in for more crap next week, please post on Tina Barrett's MySpace. Thank you.